welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olive and I make quarantine content and sort of taking you along with living my life in the same sort of standard of quarantine that we have been in since it started, which is what it was supposed to be. So basically I am still in lockdown. I am still social distancing, always wearing my mask, not going outside, being very careful. So I'm taking you along and telling you that it's really not that bad and there are good things and there are bad things, but ultimately it is possible to lead a very fulfilling life while following all the guidelines and taking care of both the people in your immediate family and your friends and all the strangers who are family and friends and lovers of everyone else in the world. So today I am taking you on my mental health retreat. This is also my first solo vacation. This is the first time that I've gone anywhere completely by myself, without my family, without any of my friends. And it was because I have been in quarantine. I came home from college and I've been with my family in the same house that I grew up in and I needed a break. I, I love my family to pieces and I, being in quarantine with the same three other people has been really challenging and going from being very independent in college to being very much in a dependent situation again at home was very difficult especially because I am a very independent person and I thrive a lot on my own and I sometimes struggle to live in the demands and the style of living of other people and so I have family friends who own an Airbnb about two hours outside of San Francisco and they graciously allowed me to come and stay and spend a couple of days up here. So that's what I did. Stick around and I will show you my vacation. So I have my two backpacks, one for a day trip and one that just has like my laptop and some other stuff. Uh, towel for the beach. This is my cooler, which has everything that I need. This is my like day cooler for like taking stuff on my day trip. And it currently has the French press inside because I didn't have a coffee maker and I need coffee to survive. Uh, my tripod, which is really annoying. My book. I also have a bunch of books on my phone, but this is the one hardcover book that I have. Um, my water bottle, my mask. I do have a second mask so that I can wash each one each day and have a clean mask. And then my paper towel and disinfecting spray. So I'm going to go and I'll have a clip of that probably of cleaning the door handles and the light switches and just everything. I know that they do clean it, but just to be extra safe and make sure that everything is super sanitized with the things that I'm going to be touching with my hands all the time. So I am going to shut this and get started on my journey. All right, quick update. I have been driving for a while now. I am almost there. So that's really exciting. It's really, really beautiful. I can't obviously show you as much. I'll try to get some clips of other stuff later. here you just saw hopefully you just saw a bunch of clips of me settling in and I ended up wiping everything down that's something that we did the last time we went on vacation and while I do trust the owners of this Airbnb because they're good family friends um just to be safe for me my parents decided that I should just spray down the things that like everyone touches so that's door handles light switches I spray down the sink so I had a nice drive. It was really peaceful. I listened to a couple of different podcasts. I talk about some podcasts that I like in my quarantine favorites video. Um, I listened to You Can Sit With Us, which is the wives of the Try Guys. And I listened to a little bit of the Jenna and Julian podcast. And it was really just relaxing. And um, driving in the city is awful and terrible. And I hate it with every fiber of my being. But driving on the highway, especially like out where there like aren't a lot of people and there's like mostly cows and like hills and stuff, it ended up being a lot more peaceful than I expected. I like, I get, doing stuff like this makes me like get why people just like go on drives because like in my mind driving in San Francisco is like the opposite of like relaxing and whatever. Alright, 
So this is me doing the mini crossword. My friends and I have been doing the big crossword during quarantine as a bonding activity and that got me hooked on the mini which I do because I'm not talented enough to do the big ones by myself. <laughs> All right, so I had breakfast and I packed up and now I am going to the river. Hopefully I can find a spot where there aren't a lot of people so that I can take my mask off. I packed, I brought my backpack, which has all the things that I need in it and my lunch in a little cooler and my tripod so that I can take some clips. All right, so I am winding down for the night. I haven't been showing my dinner because I've been having dinner with our family friends, socially distant, who uh, who own this Airbnb. So I just felt like it wasn't respectful to show that. And I was just having a good time, which has been really nice. It's honestly so nice to talk to people who aren't in my family, but people I'm very close to and people I've grown up with who honestly, who actually used to live in the same house as me. Um, but I'm going to be reading. Um, I haven't had a lot of shots of me reading, even though that's what I've spent a lot of time doing because my books are on my phone. I've been getting them from Kindle Unlimited and from the library as ebooks. And uh, my phone is also my camera. Good morning. So today I am going to be taking my Hebrew class online. Thankfully, I have Wi-Fi here, and in fact, it is so strong that I can take it outside, which is wonderful. It's an incredibly nice day today, and I just get to sit outside and take my class. Hopefully, it's going to be easier for me today because last week, none of my classmates showed up, and I had a private, and it was really, really awkward. So you're still hoping that my classmates actually show up today. But like maybe I could get away with like maybe we could review last week's and I could like have an easy day, but we'll see. And um, yeah, I'm going to go to the beach today. I had a great night of sleep and I just feel so at peace away and I haven't really felt like I'm alone per se, but I am really incredibly grateful that I have the opportunity to do this because I know that this is something that not everyone has access to and not everyone is going to have family friends who have an Airbnb or be able to get out of the city or wherever they're living. Um, so I am really thankful for that and I acknowledge the fact that I am incredibly lucky in that regard. Um, also, mosquitoes are the spawn of Satan and they all deserve to die. All right, so I'm driving. I fully missed my turn. The thing about all these roads up here is that they have these like tiny little signs and it's just like trees, gap, go there. And so I am going back a different way. I am turning onto the highway. Wow, there's a, um, I'll try to find a picture to insert. There's a man in a backwards hat and goggles So that was my physical therapy. Um, usually I'm not this gross because I'm inside and San Francisco weather is very different. But because they have to clean the room between uses, I had to do it outside. And it's 80 degrees right now. Your girl not happy. But I got a good workout in and that makes me feel really good and my ankle is handling better, which is good. I might do a video later on my ankle story just because like it's something everyone asks me and it's like such a complicated thing that it might be easier to just be like, hi, just watch the video. I'll explain it. I'll show all the different things and pictures and stuff. Uh, so if you're interested in that, comment down below, give this video a like and maybe I will do that. But now I'm going to change my shirt 
try to wipe down my face a little bit because I'm going to see a friend. Honestly, thank God for social distancing because I don't have to necessarily smell like sweat because I don't have access to a shower, but I will be spraying a ton of my rose mist on, so hopefully everything's okay. So I pulled up to the like order here sign thing and there was and then it was silent and I was like I haven't done this in quarantine and I was like what am I doing wrong like what what's happening and then I just sat there because I saw the car in front of me stop so I was like okay I think this is the thing but like I don't know what's happening so then I just sat there and then the voice came and she's like hi like how are you whatever and then I ordered but I just sat there and I had so much my anxiety just went ha because I was just like is this what I'm supposed to do? Is this socially acceptable? What's happening? So if anyone wants to know uh, how quickly my anxiety spikes, that is a good answer. I was, it was probably silent for 10 seconds and I went, oh my God. Um, so I got my mask. Um, ooh, I have to get out the glove. Ooh, it's this bag. I have a glove so that I can deal with all my stuff. Um, it's cash. So I have to make sure I have the right amount of cash. You can go to the front. Thank you. All right, so I just got home. My voice is dying and the only person I've been talking to really is myself on camera and a little bit of other people, but I guess I, guess I was just talking to my friend for a while and it was really hot. Um, but I'm just sitting, I just parked outside my house and I'm kind of sitting to prolong the fact that this is my solo vacation. Though I do really wanna see my cat, so if I find them, I will definitely insert a clip because loves of my life. Well, I will say also when I was just driving, the car in front of me had, I'll put a picture of it, the white meme cat from the like salad meme, just like a big one on their back windshield. And that's the kind of person that I'd like to meet. All right, so I decided to re shoot my outro now that I'm actually home. So I hope you enjoyed sort of coming along on my mental health slash first solo vacation. I'd like to give it a resounding success. I didn't die, so I mean, that's just like number one, like your girl's alive. Um, I refer to myself as your girl too much and I'm trying to break that habit. <laughs> but I had a really great time and I just took a cold shower, which was wonderful, except for the fact that it is like 90 degrees in San Francisco, which is wild. Like it's not 90 degrees here. We exist between 50 and 65 and I am not a fan and I am still so hot after taking an ice cold shower. Consider subscribing and like this video if you enjoyed it and I'm looking for, I'm looking for more content like it.